I've got a little request for you. I've identified several strange markings that I've discovered right across Renaissance Italy. Now, I don't know what they're doing there, but I want you to help me find out. Rebecca has marked their general location in the database with an eye icon, and she's made them glow as well. Keep an eye out. Will do, Sean. Probably why, because I'm recording this, and I'm not going to do the truth. That's my series now. I've claimed it. Serezio, thank God. I've been looking everywhere. Yes, Annetta. I couldn't stop them, Annetta. I tried, I swear. But there were so many guards. Please, come with me. We need to get you off the streets. What if my mother and sister... They're safe. I'll bring you to them. No. It's too dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house. Just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way. That is the worst directions. Just north of Duomo, my sister. I don't know your sister. I don't know the address. That's not specific enough. And that's a quite a but the best of the mini map, a lot of guards. Yep, few guards on my house right there. I'm gonna get out. Annetta was not very specific about where her sister's house house is. She just said north of the Duomo, I've gone north, and there's a very distinctive colourful house there. So let's just because it's a video game. We know it's this one. But cheers Annetta. Oh, and plus, you know, things like the uh, you know, big exclamation mark, you know, just a few things. Oh, that music. Get out of here. I think we have the wrong building. No. No, this is it. Don't pretend you've never been here, Etia. You're all up in this shit. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Messer Ezio. Annetta speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego. Call me Paola. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. You must be tired. Perhaps you'd... No, grazie. I can't stay. Why? Where are you going? To kill Uberto Alberti. I yeah, you are, boy. You yeah, boy! But yeah, boy! Here is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. But I can make you one. Oh, Why shit! Are you going to teach me how to kill? Bitches I'm be not. crazy. I'm going to teach you how to survive. Come. Bitches be crazy. Discretion is paramount in my profession. We must walk the streets freely. Your See, profession of being a crazy unseen. bitch? You two must learn to blend like us and become one with the city's crowds. Okay then. My girls will show you how. Righto. So I've blended in. Oh, look at that. Like what you see? Woohoo! I do like what I see. I'll just stand right behind you, pal, if you don't mind. Just directly behind you. I'm not staring at anything. I want to... Oh no, I didn't mean to pickpocket you. Blend, keep blending, keep blending, keep blending. Don't stop the blend. God damn it. Oh, son of a bitch. I didn't mean to actually pickpocket him. I was trying to fast walk. Hey, br hey man. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you made me do it, man. Look what you did. You fucked up. Um, monks. Oh, thank God. I freaked out for a second. I tried to fast walk into the blend group and forgot A, just pickpockets them automatically. So, I done fucked up. I done fucked up. Paula, wait! Very convenient you monks are here. Not that I look at all like I'm blending in with you guys. Unless I'm like a prisoner. You guys don't need to worry about where I'm from. I'm from nowhere. I'm just not from around here. I thought assassins were supposed to be discreet, but the outfits they wear are the most, like, conspicuous things I've ever seen. They stand out so much. Wouldn't the best assassins just wear, like, peasant clothes? Bene. Now that you've learned to blend, I'll show you how to use it for more than just moving around. Let's teach you how to steal. Okay. Um. Steve! Oh! Steve! 
I wasn't trying to steal, I was trying to put my hand somewhere else. Okay, a few things. Help! Shut up! I didn't do anything! I swear to God, it was her. Don't laugh at me. Fuck off. Oh, got him. That was very easy. What's next, Paola? You can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. He's cute. Now that you have learned how to I'm only 17, enemy, guys. This is inappropriate. Suitable weapon. What would you have me use? Ah, when I say me, I mean it's you. Already have the answer. Hey, That's actually weird thinking. Uh, I won't talk to you in this. Did you get them? <laughs> By using the same skills I've just taught you. It's not exactly in working condition. I assume you're familiar with Leonardo da Vinci. See, si. but how does a painter factor si. into this? He's far more than that. Bring him the pieces. You'll see. Before I go, one last question, if I may. Of course. Why have you given your aid so readily to me, a stranger? I too know betrayal. You shit. Time to go talk to Leonardo. Yeah, but what I was saying during that cutscene, I was like, I always find it weird now playing it, because when I first played Assassin's Creed 2, you know, when it released, I was, I don't know, 14, 15, something like that, I don't really remember. Um, you know, and Ezio's just that dude, you're like, oh yeah, I'm playing as some, you know, adult. But Ezio's 17 right now. I am, you're quite a few years older than him at this point, which feels fucking bizarre, because I do not feel older than Ezio right now. But then again doesn't last long because I have played it in when he's 50 so that, that kind of makes me feel this way I guess whereas it's only for the first you know couple sequences that he's you know 17 18 19 years of age until you get past that point fuck off you're going you're going for a ride oh got him suck it bitch oh what what the fu- that was some serious lag, but I'm okay with it. You're dead in the end. Oh, Ezio Auditore! Leonardo! I didn't expect to see you again. What with all that's happened? Ah, where are my manners? Welcome back. Oh, I love now, Leonardo. How can I be upset? Such an awesome I dude. I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course. Come, this way. Let me clear a space. Eh? All right, let's see it. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Me dispiace. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. He figures it out. What are you doing? The contents of this page are encrypted. But if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, I... Shh, shh, shh. Remarkable. If we transpose the letters and then select every third... There. It's finished. Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Bene. Do it quickly. Ezio, you were committed, <laughs> that's for sure. Fun, Ezio. Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, please bring it to me. You have my word. 
And thank you for fixing this. It... By order of the Florentine Guard! Open this door! Uh, just a moment. Wait here. And Etsy has finally Are got the blade. Leonardo da Vinci? See, si. how may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. Oh, God. Leave Leonardo alone! What seems to be this the is the worst the acting ever. Claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. Best scene what? ever. Me? Consorting? And preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto. We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to talk? <laughs> what about now? <laughs> Lose it every time. It's so fucking funny. Is that what the what the fuck is that pansy kick? Uh, uh, fuck off. <laughs> oh man, that's the, actually my favorite scene ever. Number one best moment in Assassin's Creed. Sorry about that. I've grown accustomed to their abuses. Okay, this thing called personal personal space about it. Put it with the others. Others. The city gives them to me for research. Research, quote unquote. Leonardo's fucking dead body's confirmed. That's right, man. You're a historical treasure. You can do whatever the fuck you want, and no one's gonna judge you. You're the Michael Jackson of the Renaissance. Thank you, Leonardo, for everything, anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi. Si! That's how I respond to anything I don't understand. Si! Va bene! I am Ezio! I know I just claimed this in previous episodes, but I apologize to any Italian people out there for my terrible impressions. I will do. I love your people and culture. You were gone for quite a while. Leonardo likes to talk. That he does. But I trust he did more than talk. Yeah, he did. Impressive. I'm rather fond of it myself. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Thank you, Paola. Ezio, some for your first assassination. With this, finally. You overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends. Which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes. Your allies, the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Oh, Uberto, I'm gonna fucking destroy you. Oh, it's gonna be horrifying for you. Another four. Oh, oh, just got in there. Oh. Just got in the blend group before they got even more suspicious. So. We got two brutes guarding the door. I could find a way to climb the roof or if I'm correct which I am we have a group of courtesans out here and luckily we also have the Florence to pay for them ladies I need your assistance I need you to distract oh, yeah. these guards 
Don't worry, guys. Good evening, Gondoloniere, to you as well. I trust you're enjoying yourselves. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the Auditore family. And to think I once thought of Giovanni as a brother. Don't blame yourself. How could you have known what evils he had? I say we strike that traitor's name from the record books. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes, I should. If you'll excuse me for a moment. Oh, uh, Uberto, you made a big mistake. You! Oh! Good douche! Good douche! Oh! Eat a dick! You would have done the same. To save the ones you love. Yes, I would. And I have. A good douche! Hey, you're not dead! I'm still here! Me! Do you feel the goosebumps? Cause I do. Jesus. Ready for the best way to escape ever? Just climb the building. Don't even run. Just there's a viewpoint right here, and I'm gonna get the viewpoint, and that'll get rid of him. Oh, coolest escape ever. Coolest escape ever. That's called time management. Herberto is dead. Our first Templar is killed. The first of many. Fretio Aditore. I think it's best I leave Firenze. Where will you go? My uncle Mario owns a villa near Monteregioni. You're still a wanted man, Ezio. What would you have me do then? I've seen posters all across the district. Tearing them down will help the city forget your face. No doubt the Herald's also inside the public. Bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could hunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignity for coin. Their loss would not be mourned. Do any of these things, and you should be free to leave. Okay, gotta get an authority down. This will be easy, we've got a witness. Shut up, Rebecca. I'm doing my commentary. I'll explain it. Witness, kill them, 75% down. Poster, 25%. Look at that, 100% finished. It's over. Shut up, Rebecca. I have this. It's done. It's finished. No authority. Easy as that. No longer a murderer. Only took 30 seconds. Bentornato, Ezio. Were you successful? Yes. Si. Madre? Ezio! Where have you been? They wouldn't let us leave. And Mother... Oh, she hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. Where is Father? And Federico? And Petruccio? Hmm? Some things... happen. Ah, uh, shit. Mean? No, it's impossible. Claudia. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah fuck. Good, Pichina. <laughs> That's rough, it's here. That's rough. Listen, right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Good. Will you watch over mother for me? Then we are ready. Thank you again for everything. Stay safe, Ezio. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. It's time to go to Montargioni and leave Firenze. Fun With my Italian accent. Uh, well, when you learn authority, this is easy as fuck. I remember not really understanding the authority system the first time I played this game. And in between that Natardi mission and this mission, I had done shit and got my Natardi fully back. So I was running through, I'm like, how hard is this mission? I've got all these guards around and they're just chasing me. I didn't realize that, you know, 
If I have no notoriety, they won't chase me. Because I was retarded. But now it's easy. You can just literally run through. Bene. I would sprint, but, you know. Gotta keep up with the ladies. Oh, wrong way. Not paying attention. Too busy talking shit. Hey, look, minstrels. Get the fuck out of my way. Hey, look. Guards appearing. Teleporting. Courtesans. Fuck them up. Please. Look at that, all of them. That's what I thought. You're all a bunch of fucks. Well, that was easy. We literally walked up past them. Time to get out of here, guys. Oh, you get, you guys do sprint. Easy. How could this have happened to us? I don't know. Will we ever be back? I don't know. Polly. What will happen to our house? I don't know. Oop, that's too tight a camera. Were they given a proper burial? Yes, they were. Yeah, love that that line was in there. Because you're like, were they? How would I know? They just kind of, nothing ever happened with their burials. Because that was an interesting line to get. And then to have in Brotherhood the Christina memories. The flashback. I feel like the Christina memories were almost cut from this game. Like they were supposed to be in this game. But they kind of thought it was distracting from the main story and it wasn't relevant. But it was a brilliant side story to put in Brotherhood. Like, phenomenal decision if that was what it was. So just because of that line it seemed like it was something that was kind of in the game originally. Before they cut it. Makes sense. Because it just felt like there was missing information like in that line there.